Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup without using foundation. So this is a multi tutorial video. These are the kind of videos that have really been exciting me lately. I just love giving you guys variety options. Variety is the spice of life. I know myself for sure. I do not do my makeup the same every single day. I don't follow the same steps. I don't use the same products. I kind of just like to play. And so I'm showing you guys how I go about playing without using foundation. A lot of you say that foundation irritates you. It bothers your skin. For those of you who have more troubled skin, acne prone. I understand you don't want to clog the pores. You don't want to put foundation on. So I got you boo and I'm going to show you guys how exactly I go about doing my makeup without foundation. I feel like I said that like eight times already and we're only a minute into this video. So I actually uh, lost the intro to this video, which is why I'm redoing the intro. I am not doing this makeup in this video. Um, I am wearing foundation. I'm not sure if that's obvious but I am wearing foundation right now. The way that I edit my videos, I always do my intros and outros last. So I'll do like the makeup application, I'll edit that. So I've been editing that portion for the last like week and then I went to go do my intro and outro and I had the outro, but I couldn't find the intro. I think I thought I hit record, but I didn't. And I just found that out tonight. That was a really long explanation as to why I look like this. Okay, so I'm wearing foundation right now. I'm not showing you this makeup look in this video, but if you are interested, this is a really pretty makeup look. And I actually used the new Ipsy Times Betty Boop collaboration. That's the eyeshadow palette that is on my eyes. Um, then I will link that video up here or put it down below. But in today's video, let's get back to the point of why we're here fortune get it together so I'm gonna be showing you two ways that I do my makeup without using foundation the first way is how I do my makeup when I'm in a pinch when I don't have a lot of time in the morning when you're running to work and you just want to look put together you want to look awake beautiful natural and it literally takes five minutes I'm not kidding you so that is the first portion of the video and then the second portion of the video is how I go about doing my makeup at night for date night on a weekend more glam a little bit more full coverage without using foundation. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you would like to see more videos like this that are multi tutorials in one tutorial, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know you want to see more. If you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. And also click that bell button this way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my no foundation makeup routines video. I'm legit running out the door, but I want to show you guys how I've been doing my makeup foundation free. So right now I'm just taking a spoolie. I'm brushing the brows up just like that. Now I'm going to take my serum. You can take any serum of your choice, but I've been using the Exuviance Collagen Triple Boost Serum. I like it. It's a little bit too jelly for my preference. I like something that's a little bit more watery than this, but this is supposed to help with collagen. It's supposed to help firm your skin, make your skin look more plump. So this is what I have been using. Um, just so we are all on the same page, I did wash my face. I used the Mario Badesco Enzyme Cleansing Gel, which is really, really light on my skin and perfect for anyone who has dry skin out there. Sorry, this is my dress that I need to iron. I uh, probably should have took it off the chair, but it's fine. Okay. I'm gonna take two full pumps of that, and then I'm gonna use the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Drops. I did a whole video on these. I am obsessed with these and still using them. I'm gonna take about half a pump, mix those two together, and this is just gonna bring a little color to the skin. I'm just rubbing that in with my fingers. And see how like glowy I am already? I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Drunk Elephant. Now, this is technically a serum as well. I just like to mix it in with my serum. I find that it makes it spread a lot easier. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. You guys know I love this. And just hit this wherever I'd like a little bit more coverage. Or you could put it wherever you wanna highlight and bring forward. I'm kind of just doing it all. And just stamp this into the skin. And then I can take the smaller side for like detailed work. I'm just getting around my nose because that's where I get very red. I'm just taking my time to blend this out. Just because you're not applying foundation doesn't mean that you can't go a little bit more full coverage. You can just use a concealer and go a little bit more full coverage wherever you need extra coverage. I just said coverage like 10 times. 
And this is like perfect for a morning routine when you're just trying to get like out the door really quickly and you just want your skin to look uniform, you know? You don't want to spend too much time on your makeup. Now, I've been really loving this. I find that this liquid lipstick gives such a beautiful glow to my skin and makes me look naturally sun-kissed. This is the BH Cosmetics Liquid Linen Lipstick in the shade Karen. Dot that on the apples of my cheeks like that. I know it looks real crazy. And then I'm just gonna blend that out. And yeah, I look a little clownish, but it's gonna look okay in the end, trust me. I'm gonna go back in with my concealer brush and just blend this all across the face. I'm just pressing this into the skin in like circular motions, just to like really blend that out. Make sure there's no creases around my eyes. And I'm gonna hop into my Brighten Up, Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, picking it up out of the pan and pressing that underneath my eyes. And you can just put this wherever you tend to get a little oily, putting it around my nose, put too much blush on. You can put this around the perimeters of the brush to just, the blush to just blend it out a little bit better. Essence, make me brow in brownie brows and just throw this into the brows just to keep them in place. And this is also a tinted gel, so it's gonna make them a little bit darker. Benefit Bad Gal Bang. This is a trial size on the top lashes. And then for lips, I'm just going to use some Fenty Glow. All right, guys, and there we go. This is a really, really quick, perfect for when you're just trying to get out the door within five minutes or less. No foundation makeup routine. So this is just a very light coverage. This just uniformed our skin. I will show you guys more glam ways to not use foundation. So that is coming up very shortly on my face. So we are all on the same page. I am wearing the Exuvian's Age Reverse Daily Repair Cream. It has SPF 30 in it, very important. I wear SPF every day, no matter what the weather is. Whenever I'm leaving the house, I wear SPF. I do want to hydrate the eyes, so I'm gonna grab an eye cream. Mike and I are going to dinner tonight. Um, I don't really know where we're going, and I didn't really ask him what I should wear, but it's okay because I'm just gonna wear what I wanna wear. This is what I used to do. Like when Mike and I started dating, he would pick me up and I would be dressed to the nines and he'd be like, Fortune, we are going to a pumpkin patch. You look like you're going to a nightclub. But you know what? I don't really care. I wanna wear what I wanna wear. I feel like this setup was very questionable today and I'm not digging it. The lighting is not good. I can see a lot of shadows, but it's okay. We're gonna amp up the quality very soon in here. I am pasty pale, so I need some color. This is the DeBronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops by Drunk Elephant. Mm, like almost a full pump and just apply this all over the skin. When you initially go in, you're scared. Like right now, it's a little scary. I kind of look like an Oompa Loompa, but they really settle in. It settles in, it looks really natural. You just gotta make sure that you rub it in and that you don't miss anywhere that's visible because it's a pretty uh, good tanner, so you don't want to look pasty like along the hairline, so make sure you really rub it in. So I'm going to take another pump, and I'm going to bring this down the neck. Wow, that was awful. That entire time I had this camera on the wrong setting, which is why it looked really dark to me the whole time. So I do apologize. Hopefully the video gets a little better. I mean, honestly, would this be a video without something going wrong? Would this be my video without something going wrong? The answer to that is definitely no. So I have this little eco tool sponge. This one's a little damp. I'm just gonna run this over the face, like very, very lightly. I'm like barely pressing in. I'm gonna just take a little bit of my NYX Plump It Up Lip Plumper. Just a little bit because this is gonna be a quick makeup look, so it's not gonna have a lot of time to settle in there. Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. This is in the shade Celestial. I love this. It's like a really pretty pink highlight. I'm just gonna put some on my finger right there, rub it between the two, and just put this along my face. See like, oh, how pretty is that? I wanna look super dewy. Becca Cosmetics Under Eye Brightening Corrector in Light to Medium. This stuff is literally amazing. Like on days where you don't want to wear concealer, but you just want to cancel out your dark circles, which is really what concealer is for, but you know, you don't want to go like full, full coverage. Just throw this under your eyes and look, it just like neutralizes them. Like I still have a little darkness, but compared to before, it's like 
really, this is good stuff. Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer, a very light concealer. This is not full coverage, and I'm just gonna hit it in the spots where I ha may have a little discoloration, I have some blemishes. And now this concealer is close to my skin tone, so this is not really a brightening concealer. Oh, I just stuck that on my nose. <laughs> and just blend all of this in. And this may look like a lot of concealer, but it's not. It's really not that much. And this concealer is not full, full coverage. Honestly, most days, I would just throw the Becca Cosmetics Neutralizer, that's just what I call it. What is the name of it? Uh, I think I said it, Under Eye Brightening Corrector, I call it. What did I even just call it? Oh my God, I don't even remember what I just referred to it as. Neutralizer, is that what I said? Yeah, because it just gets rid of any darkness or just really lightens it. All right, I need a brow. I don't know about you, but I feel like no look is complete really without a brow. This is the Joa Precision Brow Pencil. I am back on into this pencil. I took a hot minute away from it. I was really into the BH Cosmetics one, but for convenience, like this one is just so convenient and it's so great. And I'm literally just looking at my brow. So I'm brushing the brow hairs up I'm gonna look underneath my brow and see just like where I need it filled in. I just wanna look like I naturally have brows. You know, that juicy look, we wanna look juicy. And I'm gonna brush them down and hair like strokes. Clear brow gel, this is the Hour Glass Arch Brow Shaping Gel. It's just clear. I feel like I have to slouch to like be able to see in this video the way I set this camera up. Amateur hour here. I'm gonna do a little chisel. This is the Ardell Glam Touring, just using the contour side. I never use the highlighting side. I wish Ardell would come out with just a contour stick. Oh, I just realized that I haven't used my Charlotte Tilbury. I bought one of her contouring wands. And I think I wanna do a this versus that and like do a contour off between this and the Charlotte Tilbury one because you guys know this one's like my baby. And I just wanna know if the more expensive one is better. Same sponge and just blend this out. Just a little bit. Can't forget to blend that out though, because I feel like I've done that quite a few times. <laughs> I feel like that's why I never contour my lips because I forget to blend it out and then I look like this and I look fucking crazy. All right, I'm gonna powder a little bit because I feel like I'm gonna get greasy really fast. I'm gonna take my Hourglass Translucent Veil Setting Powder, get rid of any creases underneath the eye. Honestly, this Koki Concealer and this Becca, whatever it is, Darkness Eraser, are match made in heaven. I feel like my under eyes don't crease at all. I like really didn't even have to bounce any of the creases out because there were hardly any. I'm just gonna powder the sections of my face that I don't like to be shiny. And then what's ever left, I'm gonna put on my forehead. I'm gonna use this JH05, and this is the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer and Golden Gal. And I'm just hitting this really lightly over top of wherever I contoured. I'm kinda of like swirling it and tapping it. I'm putting some on the sides of my nose. And I'm gonna bring it onto the apples of my cheeks because I do find that that kinda of makes it look more natural. I'm gonna take my bronzer on a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna throw this into the crease. I'm gonna throw some underneath the eye. Again, this doesn't need to be neat. I'm gonna attempt this trick that I saw Andrea Ali do and I thought it was brilliant. I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs Ultra Skinny Gel Crayon and this is just black. I'm taking this and I'm just gonna push it in between my lashes. And I'm not putting it on my waterline, I'm putting it 
literally like wiggling it between my lashes. I don't think I did it as good as she did. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm just gonna smudge that. But be very careful because it's very close to your eye. I feel like that kind of makes it look like I have more lashes. Makes my waterline look thicker. Okay, all right. I'm gonna take some of that bronzer. I'm gonna put it back on the fluffy brush and I'm gonna put this on the lid. Now I'm gonna use my Stila Smoky Storm. This is their Magnificent Metals Glitter and Eye Glow. And I'm just gonna throw some of this on the lid. Take a flat brush, smudge this out. Wow, that's really pretty. I take my Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Highlighter. Love this. Recently found it again on a fluffy brush. Collab Soft Spot Sheer Blush and Just For Fun. Apply this like this, like kind of towards the back. Bare Minerals Lash Domination. This is a sample. I've been really into this. I feel like it gives a nice like natural look. I just got to wipe off the excess because this wand picks up a lot. But I like how lengthening this is. Like honestly, you can make your lashes so long the more you apply with this one. Oh my god, it's so good. This has been one of my favorite lip liners lately, but also of all time. This is the NYX Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Natural. It's just like it does something to me. Honestly, this lip liner is like literally the same shade as my lips. Maybelline blushing beige because what else do I ever use? I'm going to put this in the center of my lips. Taking my finger, I'm just going to blend it. Hmm. I kind of want to gloss. Hold please. I wonder if this one is still good because I haven't used this in a hot minute. This is Kylie in the shade So Cute. I feel like this might be bad. But also amazing at the same time. I'm going to blend this out. Wow. That is a lip. I feel like my lips are always best, honestly. And I know people are going to say something about this. I feel like my lips always come out the best when I use a minimum of three products. I know. I'm high maintenance when it comes to makeup. What can I say? Now I'm just going to set my face. And just because we didn't really use a foundation and this might move around. And it won't really last as long because we didn't use foundation i'm going to use something that's a little bit more long lasting i'm going to go ahead and use the urban decay all-nighter setting spray just to make sure that this goes nowhere and i also want to highlight the inner corner very quickly and i think i'm going to use my fenty highlighter to do that i'll take it on this little flat guy and i'm just gonna hit this right in the corner Yes, that's everything I didn't know I needed. I'm going to bring it up a little bit too. Into the crease. Oh, wow. Wow. Should have done this earlier. This just does something to every look. I could throw this on over a garbage makeup look and it would just look so much better. Okay, we're just going for it. This is me going for it. I'm going to hit it with that fluffy brush that we used to apply the Makeup Forever one one more time. Wow. Oh 
All right, guys, and this is the finished makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this gave you a lot of options, and I was really into this. I'm enjoying creating these videos that have more than just one tutorial. I like a few tutorials mashed into one. So if you do too, then be sure to let me know down below in the comments section if this is something that you would like for me to continue to do. I think I'm going to do it, but I would love to hear the opinions. I kind of just like giving you guys different... You know more variety i feel like variety is a good thing if you have not yet subscribed i'm going to ask you one more time to please be sure that you go ahead and do that also click that bell button this way you get a notification every time i'm uploading a new video here on my youtube channel i had a great time as always thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see you in my next one bye finders mm.